I don't follow doctrines and commandments of divine soul. <laughs> so I feel fear they may do something wrong to me. I always feel uneasy and live in a fearing condition. Please guide and advise me. I don't follow any doctrines and commandments of divine souls, so I feel fear they may do something wrong to me. Divine souls doing wrong something wrong to you? I always feel uneasy and live the fearing conditions. So we have got the most extraordinary ideas. Perhaps they are pathological and neurotic that somebody evil evil souls are controlling us, shaping us, telling us what to do. And there are good souls, divine souls, saying, don't do that, advising the opposite of the evil birds. <coughs> Why are we so frightened of curses, of some people doing me harm psychologically, black magic, you know all that dark side of this country. You know very well the dark side of this country. Not that the other countries don't have dark side, but it's not so pronounced. Why are we always caught in this? Somebody <coughs> doing me harm. Aren't you doing harm to others? Aren't you doing harm to those poor people who have one meal a day? <sighs> Sir, the real question there is the good and the bad. Right? Let's keep to that simple thing. The good and the bad, the noble and the ignoble and so on. Is good related to the bad? You careful, don't say, find out, is the good related to the bad? If it is related, then it's not good. Right? So. Is the good conjured up by thought? Be careful. Society says this is good. The commandments say don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. And <coughs> religions all over the world lay down, lay down a moral way of living. Don't kill, don't steal, don't do this, don't do that. All religions have done it. And we do quite the opposite of all that. Don't kill, we kill. Right? Don't cheat, we cheat. Don't have double standards. And so on. We all do the opposite. So why do we bother about commandments? Whether they are divine or not divine, whether they are straight from the horse's mouth. You know that phrase? All right, I won't use that phrase. <laughs> straight from some saint or some god, some why do we accept these commandments? It seems so absurd which means trying to live something which is not natural. 
So why don't we change what is natural? Not follow the commandments. I'm greedy. All right, I'm greedy. And I'm also envious and all the rest of it. I, I'm envious, which is part of greed. I like to be envious. What's wrong with it? But the commandment says don't be envious. Don't look at the man's wife and so on and the rest of it. Why am I greedy? That's my problem, not somebody else's problem. So why am I greedy? Because my whole education is to have more, 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 more money, more this, more that. Right? Isn't that so? The more, the better, which means comparison, which means measurement. Right? right? Measurement. I compare myself with you, you are bright, intelligent, beautiful, etc. I am not. So in comparison with you, I become dull. If I don't compare with you, am I dull? I am what I am. I can move from there. But if I am always comparing myself with you, I am become exhausted, fighting you, jealous of you, right? So I won't compare at all. Have you ever done it? Never compare yourself with anything. You know, if you have been to museums, on one side then Michelangelo, on the other side some other, and so on. Can you look at that picture without comparing it with another picture? Can you see that picture, an old, ancient picture, looking at it without any side distractions, which is comparison? <laughs> Just look at it. Can you look at your wife and yourself without comparing? Have you ever tried, done this? To live a life without, um, without any comparison. That's real freedom, beginning of freedom. When there is no measurement of your becoming something, except in the business world perhaps, that even then. But inwardly, psychologically, there is no measurement, which means that you don't get better and better in violence, you understand, which is called non-violence. I wonder if you see the joke of this. Better and better in violence, which is what you are all doing. So if you can if the brain can, which has been conditioned to measurement, to comparison, to put that completely aside, then there is that quality of freedom. And it's only when there is that depth of freedom or just freedom there is also love in it. It isn't just you are free, that's nonsense. When you are aware that you are free, you are no longer free. When you say, I know, you don't no longer know. You understand all this? We better stop, sorry. <laughs>